Hello, welcome to another video. This one is uh, part two really of me 20mm Afghan terrain. Um, it's uh, items of basically fields, vegetation, irrigation ditches that I've done, stuff like that. Um, so uh, as normal, if you have any questions about um, about how anything's been done, just um, leave a message in the um, uh, a comment in the uh, in Aussie on the video and I'll do my best to answer. There was uh, a regular uh, subscriber of mine asked about the, uh, the tree lines uh, and how I've done them so I've tried to describe it as best I can. Relatively straightforward um, and obviously when someone's showing you the item and describing it it's better than uh, sort of typing an answer out. Um, so that's where we are. We'll um, go down to the uh, bench and have a look at the bits and pieces. Right, irrigation ditches. I've done these in 6 inch sections and 12 inch sections. Uh, this is one of the, obviously one of the 6 inch sections. Um, it's basically 2mm MDF um, with uh, this section of um, polystyrene sealant tile. I, I made these before I'd come across craft foam. I would obviously use craft foam now as it's a, uh, better to work with. However, these are just polystyrene sections of sealant tail cut with a hot wire uh, attached to the MDF. Um, my normal terrains then added to it and dry brushed up with some tufts. Um, <clears throat> I considered pouring resin in, and to be perfectly honest, you're going to increase the depth. It's, uh, well, my view, it's okay for probably for dioramas and what have you, but for wargaming pieces, it's just a bit of a a fanny on so all this is um i painted the color i wanted the sort of irrigation ditch so a sort of a dirty murky brown and then just put a couple of layers of um of gloss varnish over the top and that's fine uh, little bits of detail i had did a little wooden footbridge just out of balsa um just to give it a little bit uh bit more interesting Right, so this is a, a 12 inch section, um, made exactly the same way, you can do junctions and corners if you want to. Um, what I did here, I'll try and move it up into, uh, into a bit of a close up, uh, if you can see there I've done sort of a pipe, um, half pipe coming out the side for irrigation and there's some water uh, running out of it, that's just a piece of clear stretched sprue uh, varnished into the water surface. Um, I just like little details like that, gives it a little bit of interest and just makes it, uh, gives the eye something to uh, to look at when you, when you, you know, when you move the figures around the table. Right, and this is one of the, um, one of the junction pieces I've obviously done. Um, again, exactly the same sketch, 2mm MDF, made the same way. Um, you can sort of see how I've, when I've painted the um, irrigation ditch in, uh, basically, the nearer the centre of the channel, I do a little bit of darker colour. Um, use acrylics, and what you can do, I, I just add a um, an acrylic retarder into the mix, and yet it turns them a little bit like oils, and you get longer to blend them, so you can sort of blend them in. So it's a gradual, uh, a gradual blend, and you don't get sharp um, changes in the colour. You can sort of see it here. We have we have done it in the centre. Um, really easy, straightforward. You've just got to be careful with your measurements so that it all fits together but this is obviously a 12 inch section so 12 inches that way 12 inches that way right some smaller field sections sort of line of sight blockers uh you can see they're much they're much smaller um again uh, as normal 2 mil mdf um this is the um the doormat I was on about I haven't touched this all uh at all it's a plastic doormat that I got from uh, a garden centre. They did it in a number of colours. This colour was called Sage and it it works really well I think. Uh, not too bad at all. A uh, couple of little tufts just base dry brushed up. Um, got loads of these just good for blocking line of sight. This one I've uh, done a bit more funny and round with. Um, some fencing made from split matchsticks uh, with a few crops in. Tree in this corner. Again the doormat and then um, if you look down, I've done sort of little bits of detail. So there's a, a shovel and a pick there. Uh, I've added just uh, just really sort of um, sort of out of interest. Um, 
these are, I mean, you can use them, well, if they've got a fence on you, it's difficult to get away with them for 28 mil, that's obviously quite low, but these are the ones, I've used these for 28 mil, and uh, they're absolutely fine, um, uh, and they're good, as I said, really just chuck loads down to, uh, to block line aside. Right, I had a question, one of the, one of your subscribers in relation to the tree lines and how I did them. Um, I'll show you a couple of examples of tree lines. Basically exactly the same. This is, again, 2 mil MDF. This is 12 inches, uh, I think by 3 inches. Um, a layer of polystyrene. I've done a couple of fighting holes, as you can see here and uh, and here. They were just basically cut out. Um, polystyrene seal and tail glued on. Uh, cut with a hot wire, um, and then the normal terrain features put on. Uh, these trees, uh, I think, are Backman ones, pre-done, relatively cheap, got them from a model railway shop, shop, as well as these. These, I think, I think it was called Low Brush or something, uh, and they're basically branches. So you get a massive selection in a box, again, by Backman. And basically, it's just um, banging them in, uh, putting some tufts on, a little bit of static grass, um, Bob's your uncle, really fairly uh, fairly straightforward to do. Um, that's an example of fighting holes in. Uh, show you another example here. This is um, this is more of a uh, a plain one, uh, and it's just clump foliage and uh, an underbrush added with the um, with the trees as I've already uh, as I've already described. Right, and this is one of my larger 12-inch square field sections. I've got, again, quite a number of these. Uh, same method, 2 mm MDF. Um, seal and tail glued on the top. Obviously, the irrigation ditch was um, hot-wired out. And this, again, is the sage plastic um, uh, doormat. Um, really easy to do. Same methods with the irrigation ditches. Pick the colour. Little bits and bobs. Culverts added um, just for a little bit of uh, sort of a little bit of um, little bit of interest, really. Um, straightforward to do. Um, footbridge I've added again on here, and it's just a case of giving the eye something to uh, to look at rather than having it um, sort of extremely uh, uh, extremely plain. Um, so that's. Uh, probably where we are with the um with the afghan terrain as normal anyone got any questions about how i did it or uh you know what stuff i used just uh leave a comment right that was the the last of the afghan terrain uh 20 millimeter i've got some what i would term middle eastern terrain but more of a build-up area so things like iraq baghdad stuff like that um i'll have to do another video to incorporate that um Next up, um, I've been, uh, me and Alex are doing this demo game on the 17th of September at Border Riva at Gateshead International Stadium. Uh, so what I'm thinking of doing is doing a video just describing the game and what we're going to be doing. Um, maybe show some of the terrain, although you, you've, you've obviously probably already seen that in my other videos. Uh, so that's what will be coming up next. We're uh, still haven't moved yet, which is why you can see everything behind us. It's, we're just basically waiting on a date, and obviously as soon as that happens, um, we'll be, I'll be, it'll be a little bit more problematic doing videos. I may have to uh, just go to book reviews and then rule reviews, things like that. Won't be for very long, though. We'll soon get set up at the new house. Um, I've been told that we're probably going to get maybe three to four weeks' notice of a move date anyway, so... Um, It'll, I'll still be able to um, get some stuff sorted out before then. So, um, as normal, any questions, please ask. Um, if, you're, uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please like it. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, think about subscribing. You can do that from the main channel page. Alternatively, at the end of the video, on the bottom right-hand corner, there's a button which is an Empress Modern 20mm British Infantryman. You click on that, you're subscribed. Okay, so thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.